In this video, I'm going to show you a really effective trips tight end defense that you can use. Um, really simple adjustments and something that I think is really effective for match coverage. A little bit of a trick with the big nickel formation too that is going to make this even more effective. Now if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. We do videos like this every single day and I'm in the uh, 46 defensive playbook. You can also find this in the New York Giants defense. And I just released a big nickel over G defensive ebook. It's the best defense that I have personally played all season long for a lot of different reasons. One of those reasons is that this formation features, in my opinion, the best pressures, or at least the best types of pressures that you can have in this game. Another reason why I like this defense is because it's actually fairly simple once you follow a couple of different rules. One of those I'm going to give you in this video, and that is whenever you're defending, um, I like to actually start, at least at least start, and I'll adapt as the play goes on, with my auto flip off and my auto alignment set to baseline, my ball and air defense to play ball, and my option defense on conservative. Now, we're going to run match coverage, so we're going to leave our zone drops off for this video, but we're going to show you a really interesting way that this is going to align against a trips tight end type of set. And I love the cover floor palms this year, um, especially against trips tight end. Now, if you want to check out my full big nickel over G defense, all you have to do is join our Patreon page. My Patreon page has all of my eBooks. There are over 27 offensive and defensive guides, and it's only $10 to sign up. I'll put a link in the description if you would like to sign up. Now guys, what we're gonna do with this cover four palms, we're actually gonna do something interesting. We're gonna come out in a base alignment, but what we're gonna do is we're going to simply um, man align and we're gonna show blitz. And what you're gonna see that that's going to do with this is my nickel corner is actually going to kind of play in a weird position. You see, we get this kind of double stack, um, if you will, over the top of Chris Godwin. And then we're going to use this um, to our advantage. So what we're gonna do is we're going to man up Douglas on Chris Godwin. And literally that is basically all we need to do. Um, one last little thing I like to do is pinch my line, crash my line out. Of course, I like to blitz my user. And then from here, you basically are done. I like to drop the DN into a curl flat, but other than that, you're done. And as you can see, this is the basic coverage. Um, if you wanna shade inside or shade outside, you can based on what you think they're gonna do. Uh, I will typically shade inside if I do get time. But what you're gonna see here is we're gonna get a jam, a little pop jam on the number three receiver. If the number two receiver goes vertical, Amos is going to take him vertically. And then we have this inside quarter that basically his only responsibility is to guard the crossers uh, from the number one and the number two. So you'll see here, there's just nothing open. I mean, what are you gonna throw on this coverage? And what makes this really good is one of the things that a lot of people have been doing um, at least the way the game is going right now is they've been playing a coverage that basically um, looks like this, if you will. And there's a couple problems with this coverage. One of those problems is if they run a crossing route to Scotty Miller, maybe a zig here, this can be a fairly effective route combination against this because a lot of times Scotty Miller will get some separation on this crosser. What I'm about to show you is, is why I like this defense just a little bit better and the reason why is because of what we can do to the crosser to Scotty Miller. So in the event that they do run a crosser to Scotty Miller, again, just you want to have you don't have to blitz your user. If you wanted to use with this guy, you could, you'd be fine. But I like to do it like this. That's going to give this guy the freedom to run with any shallow crossers underneath of the formation. And then the other thing that I wanted to say was if you watch here, we're going to put Scotty Miller on that crossing route and we're going to run it inverted like most people do um, if you run that version of the defense. And what you're going to notice here is it's actually going to defend Scotty Miller even better than it defends uh, Chris Godwin. You see here, he runs him all the way to the sideline. And then you'll see that they'll basically do a little bit of a pass off. And that pass off is very helpful um, for what we want to see and just in terms of how the play is going to uh, shape up. So again, I just come out, man align, show blitz, press this player. And then this guy, if he's in this quarter zone, re-quarter him. You want him in the left side quarter. Um, so of course the game's gonna be a little wonky. Let me reset that. But you want him in the left side quarter. If he's in the right side quarter, he's not gonna be as effective. Uh, as he normally is. So I'll show you again here. Uh, we can do this. I like cover four palms the best for this. So again, when you man align, you'll take whoever the, you see see this right here, and then I show blitz. So you see how, see, see why this is important. 
because this safety is the guy that's supposed to be in the press man coverage, and then this guy is in an inside quarter on the trip side. You need him in an inside quarter to that side, so just be a little careful. You don't want to show blitz until you have man aligned, otherwise it could potentially mess up the zones. But another thing that I want to show you is PA shot wheel. So again, I'll show you PA, PA shot post, and we'll just do it like this. A lot of times if they audible, one of the real cool parts about Big Nickel is it will auto correct a lot of times. Um, if it ever messes up the zones, just make sure that you're, you're, you're sampling. It's like for whatever reason, black is messed up. So we'll just go ahead and three wreck this guy. You can leave this guy blitzing and we can just use this guy. Just use need a three wreck over on that left side. But anyways, what you'll see here is this crosser to triangle um, is just going to be absolutely bagged across the field. Of course, that's a knockout or that's an acrobat pick. It's very good coverage across the formation. So first step, man line. Second step, show blitz. And typically that will protect you and make sure that the safety is the guy that's actually down in this box, which is what makes this makes this really, really good, okay? So now if I audible, let's say I go to the PA slot corner. One of the things that you're noticing here is if I do audible, um, it can kind of mess up my plays. All you wanna do is re -man line twice and typically it should be fixed. Just reset your linebackers also, that can be helpful for it. If you ever get in, in any trouble, you know, just kind of mess with that a little bit. But typically speaking, you're gonna be fine here. Um, this has to do with some of the flipping uh, of the play. So you, know, you can use her. This guy's kind of like a wild card anyway. So if you wanna put him in a hard flat, you can. And then you can bluff blitz this D end on the, on the left side. So you see that way, we're gonna be able to defend tight end drags or any underneath stuff. But the other thing that I want to show you is this corner route. So a lot of times this corner route is very good against cover four palms. What you'll see right here is it's um, it's not going to get open. Like you see there, he's going to cover it. He's going to play it pretty much perfectly across formation. And then what I really like about this play um, in terms of cover four, what I really, really like about this, this concept here is what it does to the slant post combo. One of the most popular route combos this year is the slant post combo. Basically looks like this. And what you'll see is that this tight end post will be absolutely bagged by the outside quarter on the right side of the screen. So you see he'll, I just won't even use anybody. See, he gets completely bagged. Your skinny post is bagged and your slant route is bagged. As you can see, one of the best coverages in the game for trips. Now, I uh, wanted to leave you with a last little piece here. What do you do if they motion across? So let's say they go to a play like X spot and they run, you know, something that looks kind of like this. And you've gone through all the trouble, you know, man aligning and you've set your play up and it looks kind of like, like this. If they do that, all you do is re inside quarter your safety. Just re inside quarter your safety. See how this auto corrects itself. And then you want to, I would bluff blitz this guy right here. You could, if you have the play in your audibles, just re-audible to it, or just re-base align here. Um, that can, that's something else that you can do really easy um, to just kind of fix the problem. I don't know why my slot corners icon's not showing up here, but you know, you gotta love Madden 22 sometimes. But anyways, you see here, now we're in palms, and this is a really good two-read coverage here. You'll see, um, you know, it's gonna be fine. So that's what I like to do um, for trips. Another other way you could basically do this too is if you don't want to man align you could just flip your play the one reason why i don't like to flip that what that would do is to put this guy here the one reason why i don't like to flip my play though is if you think about it when i man align from this look i'll get this guy here and then i'll get this guy here this is not terrible um and then you would just man this guy up on circle and then let's say for example that they you know they go into a motion. You see how the safety on the left side is kind of messed up, so you need to make sure he's in the right zone. But let's say they go to you know a motion concept. Let me just think off the top of my head here. We're gonna run a corner route this time. So you see something like this. If that's the case, then just re outside quarter that guy once he comes across, and then you're just gonna be back into your original cover four palms defense, which cover four palms is it's very good against two by two as you can see right there so that's what i like to do against trip side in or at least one of the 
one of the really good trips defenses that I have. We've got a bunch of really good resources in our Patreon that walk you through exactly not only how to have good blitzes, not only how to have good general coverages, but how to have very good specific defenses for certain route combinations and certain packages and certain formations. We got bunch defense, bunch tight end defense, trips defense, U trips defense, spread defense, compression defense. All of that stuff is available in our Patreon membership and $10 is all you need to sign up for and it gets you access to absolutely everything in the membership. There's a link in the description if you want to check it out. Thanks for watching the video and if you want to check out the Patreon, the link is down in the description below.